that's a very um, trying to be deep poem about someone just having a people in the wall. Hi guys, and welcome back to the fifth episode of uh, Toki Doki Literature Club. Um, <laughs> I came back to this, and I don't know what the game is doing, but I assume it's part of the game. <laughs> so, I'm not sure why this is flipping out on us, but I guess one day we'll find out. So I'm just going to load. So, we already showed our poem to Yuri, um, she really loved our poem, um, by, by Yuki? I, I don't know what her name is, my best friend, um, she liked it as well, uh, we showed it to Natsuki, who completely hated it, probably she liked it, but she just wanted to show us that she hated it. And now we are going to show it to Monica. So, hi Alina san, having a good time so far? Um, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Well, what I would suggest is that you actually get a, you know, give a book and let everyone read it by a certain time and then you discuss it. I think that's kind of the point of the literature. But well, okay. Well, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Elena Sam. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past, too. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, great job, Elena Sam. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectation low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it works anyway. You know that Yuri likes this sort of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. Very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it by just, uh, just by fear, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked her. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do know that you do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles. They'll always help you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to. Not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. 
you sound really confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. Couldn't have been me. See, the direction the speckle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film that died in the sun. But it's too late. My retina, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. Just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choice. I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That's a very, um, trying to be deep poem about someone just having a people in the wall. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very free form if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. In influencing my poems, it's an epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. But just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I think that's very good. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. As if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, do you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. The 
which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Elina found it too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggest suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change any time soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Elena sound like my firm too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Matsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh? That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that the Nina-san appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know you didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. I was full of myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly easy. Eh. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Indian Sam started showing up. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... It doesn't involve you. I... I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Elena Sam. But wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a way. You understand that, right, Elena Sam? Um, well. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> so of course that's going to be... Help me, Sayori. <laughs> I personally... Like, I think both styles are quite can be quite good. I'm personally just more... Towards you. What happens if I yell, help me, Sayori? <laughs> I really like Yuri's writing style a lot. But I feel like I'm always going for Yuri already, and it's so. Ah, oh, God, help me, Sayori. <laughs> I don't know. I would probably do this. That's okay. I oh, know, that's me. Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri. Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Hi, Yuri. <laughs> eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? That's not what I meant to do. You see the sun. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I... 
I agree. Unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what the suck up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Fuck! Natsuki! Yuri! You guys are my friends! I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poem. They are amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because. Well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boots are the same as they are. <laughs> Big and beautiful. Sorry, that's kind of inappropriate. <laughs> Yuri's just like, um, what? Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll... I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. That was really good. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead. But sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. They could care of her, okay? I would hate to see herself get hurt. That makes two of us. Was that a threat? You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knock. Such a genuine person really does make a good president regardless of what she says. I'm quite sure she made a threat. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. No, I don't want to because I am quite scared of her. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure where the story is going yet. Um, seems like Things are going on so with everyone. I think everyone has a background story that's not as happy as it seems. So yeah, I maybe we'll find that out in the next episode. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, but I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, if you like, leave a like or a comment. Um, you can also uh, ask for. Uh, if you want any other games to be played, uh, you can always leave a suggestion so that I know what kind of games people want to see, actually, or want to see me playing. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!